Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today I'm going to do some cleanup from the last two videos that I made. First off, this is the remains of that giant stump I ground out. I've got five chunks here that I can split up and use for firewood. So I cut about two foot off of that stump and the stump was, I guess that the point I cut it, it was about five foot wide. The grind area was close to ten foot wide. But I need to get the bed of the truck emptied out because yesterday I dug a bunch of big rocks out of the yard and so now I've got holes all over the yard. I've also got a bunch of ruts all over the yard from driving my tractor all winter. I want to get it smoothed out to mow. So in this video I'm going to unload the wood, go get a load of topsoil, spread that topsoil around the yard. I'm going to try out a pull type lawn roller to compact that new dirt. And then I'm going to spread grass seed over it and see if we can get this lawn straightened out. So, let's get started. Alright, so I went and picked up one scoop of dirt in the truck bed. I've got some big ruts over here I'm going to fill after I fill in all these holes that I dug up in the last video. I'll show you some of that real quick. So all of these dirt clods are places where rocks were sticking up above ground level, making it hard to mow. So I'm going to use the tractor to spread this dirt across these areas and across the places with ruts. And then I'm going to try using a lawn roller to flatten it out. So what I did here today worked, but mainly what I learned today was that I need a better way because this was inefficient and just couldn't haul enough dirt in the truck bed to begin with to make it worth it. So I actually went and looked at dump trailers today. Not sure if I'll buy one anytime soon, but I am definitely having a load of dirt delivered because it would take 20 truck beds like what I picked up today to really do justice to leveling out my yard. So I got quite a bit done today, but when I resume this project, I'll have a truckload of dirt and I'll probably use the box blade on the ruts before spreading that dirt.
All right, so I've got this lawn roller here. It looks homemade. I got it with the property. It's basically just concrete with steel wrapped around the outside. Or, I mean, I guess it's steel with concrete poured inside of it. But regardless, um, I've really been questioning whether or not that would do any good behind my tractor. Because, I mean, it weighs a few hundred pounds over the spread over 18 inches. But over that same width, of tire, you know, my tractor weighs 5,000 pounds spread over the four tires, so it feels like any flattening that would happen from that roller would be outweighed by the compaction of the, the tractor tires. So I've been thinking what I need is a really wide roller with a larger diameter that's going to weigh a lot more, but I haven't found one that I liked or a good deal on one yet. So what I've decided to do is pull this roller behind the four-wheeler on the fresh dirt I just put down and see if that'll flatten it out. So I did a video the other day where I went over to the dealership to get some broken bolts fixed. In that video I showed a big cultipacker. I keep calling it big. It looked big on that little tractor. It was on a 1025. But they had a little cultipacker that would have been great for a job like this to kind of do all this at once. Um, there's obviously easier ways of doing this, but I'm just using what I have today. So I rolled it out with that. I've got this handheld tool here. It's gonna aerate a little bit, and then I'm gonna spread seeds, grass seed. So it probably seems weird to pack that down with a roller and then break it up with this. And I don't know if that's a good way to do it or not, but my mindset was to make sure that it was, you know, filling those holes completely so I didn't end up with a dip. Not necessarily to have the ground be hard packed. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. It looks exactly the same on this side. The front yard and this side are already pretty smooth. It's up here and then on that side of the house where I dug out all these rocks. And I'm just gonna continue this same process over here, around on the other side, see if we can make mowing a little bit more enjoyable. But. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. In just a second, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.